Hey, we, guess what? PS4 is coming for your ass! Damn it. That was the Wii. I was a Nintendo fanboy until I read this. Now I'm a PlayStation fanboy because I want to be number one. Uh, PlayStation. Uh, four is gonna—it's gonna be taking the top, the the second spot as far as home console sales go for all time. Number one is—they're not gonna go anywhere near that. Number one is their own product, the PlayStation 2, Sony's product that is, with a—they have 155 million PlayStation 2 sold. But that's a golden—that was a golden moment in time with DVDs. DVD players were expensive. It was cheaper to get a fucking PS2, and you go, oh, well, we got games too, so obviously you're gonna buy the fucking PS2. It's cheaper, you get games, everything. You don't just have a DVD player. It's a quality DVD player, right? Everyone I fucking know had a PlayStation 2, and they all used it as their DVD player. So it was a golden moment in time for the PlayStation 2. It was a lucky strike on Sony's part. Very good business decision, obviously. If the Dreamcast had a uh, DVD player, it'd be a lot different situation. If the GameCube had a DVD player, it'd be a lot of different situation as well. Those consoles would have sold a lot better 100% for sure, but uh, PlayStation 2, they, Sony made it happen. They said, we know what the fuck we're doing over here. And clearly they did. And clearly they still do, because the PlayStation 4 has sold over, over 91 million consoles globally, and the PlayStation 5 does not come out until 2020. We got a whole, a whole nother year of this motherfucking thing to be out. We got a whole nother holiday season. We got more exclusives coming, I'm sure. We got all kinds of stuff. They're gonna help push these sales over the edge. And I think they're gonna topple the Wii. The Wii's uh, worldwide sales were 101.6 million. Uh, so we're about 10 million off exactly from that number. And I think we can make the 10 milli mark if Sony just ooh, really pushes it in there. We'll see. Uh, the Wii it, died like four years in. It, well, it, yeah. yeah the Wii PlayStation was, 4 is pretty hot. So. Yeah, the PlayStation 4 is actually hotter than ever, actually. Yeah. Spider-Man was the best, the, the fastest selling PlayStation exclusive of all time. So it's just even, it's even picking up steam in the in, how, this late in the fucking game here. So, I mean, they're going to sell PlayStations into the PlayStation 4's life cycle as well. They sold PlayStation 2's up into the PlayStation 4's life cycle. Uh, so this is going to be around for at least, at least like three more years, I'd say. I think we're going to hit that 10 million mark. And we're going to have the, uh, the top two home console spots are going to be Sony. So that's pretty interesting. Sony just killing the console industry at all times, not the handheld industry. Nintendo's got that on lockdown. You look at the best-selling consoles of all time, number two is the DS. Uh, number, we got 3 ds really up there as well. PS2, yeah, I'm it's more. really close. It's like, it's only a few million off. It's like a, you, no, no, let me check. It's like, I, I think, think it's it, less than a million. Is it less than a million? Why would they not just, just leave it out there for a little longer? You could get the fucking, you get the top spot and Nintendo said, we're good, we're all right. We don't need the top spot, but it's not home consoles. It's just this is just considered all consoles, but as far as home consoles go, Sony's probably gonna have the top two spots, which is really, really good for Sony. I mean, people say console gaming is dying. We've heard that argument years ago, and look at it, it's higher than ever. Uh, you're yeah, a joker. Less than one million. Less than one million. The DS was less than one million. Nintendo, what the fuck were you doing? You could have had a record. You could have had a nice achievement on your walls, but you said, you know what? We're done here. Let's move on. I don't know. You're fuck. You, that was stupid, Nintendo. Obviously, you'd be. You probably sell DSs still now if you made them. Um, it's a nice little hit console with a lot of games. I mean, people would buy a new DS if you still made them. You blew it. But anyways, let's see if the PS4 can uh, take on the Wii and, and become the. Number two, PlayStation One. Oh, it's got to be PlayStation One. Is PlayStation One PlayStation above Wii? PlayStation One is like a million more than the Wii. So. Oh, is it? Well, fuck. I thought Wii was number two. Guess I can't read this right. Surprising. I'm surprised I can read this paper right here. Uh, well, maybe it'll beat the PlayStation One. If not, we'll have the top three spots. Can you give me? Can I? Will that? Is that okay? That would be neat, right? PlayStation Three is kind of the bastard uh, stepchild because they botched the launch of that one. But hey, <laughs> that's in the past. PlayStation 4 is killing it now. PlayStation 5 is going to kill it in the future. Sony is going to continue to kill the console market. And uh, consoles aren't going anywhere. It's still 83 million PS3 sold. That's pretty good. In the foreseeable future. It's not bad. It's not bad. Right behind Xbox 360. Real close. Everyone says 360 crushed it. Cut! I, I, this was this was this was fun for me personally. I said, you know what? I like Resident Evil. I'm, I'm psyched for the Resident Evil 2 remake coming out, and I saw that there's going to be a, a Resident Evil 2 demo coming out this week, January 11th through the 31st, is when it's going to be available. It's called the One Shot Demo uh, because you got one shot, even though you don't really, because if you die, you can continue. So I don't know what the one shot really is 
referring to, but you get to play for 30 minutes, 30 minutes only. I don't know if it's set in a specific scenario. I know you're playing as Leon Kennedy, but I don't know if they're like, there's gonna be restrictions like, well, you can't actually go to this part of the map because you know, there's a wall, like walls up that they're gonna put up so you can't get there. It's like a, a, an offshoot of something, something that's not actually in the game. I don't know what the fuck the deal is gonna be with the demo. Uh, it'd be interesting if it was all just completely open and someone could like speed run and beat the game within the demo time. That'd be interesting. So I gotta play you know, the first so, 30 minutes of the game and then so, when I buy well, it, I gotta start over. Well, I don't think it's the first 30 minutes. I don't, they didn't, they didn't say, I think it might just be like a moment in, in time in the game. I don't really know exactly what the deal is, but uh, 30 minutes what you're getting, you're gonna play as Leon Kennedy. Uh, and once the 30 minutes is up, you get an exclusive trailer, a trailer exclusive to the demo that is, uh, that's not gonna, that's not showing everyone else. I'm sure it'll be up on YouTube uh, eventually, if not during the demo time. So if you don't want to download the demo, play it and all that stuff to see the trailer, someone will put it up, if not Capcom themselves, even though it says it's exclusive. We know how that goes. Uh, so this is interesting. I'm really psyched for a demo for, for like once in my lifetime. Never really gave a shit about a demo besides Pizza Hut demo discs. I know I'm right there with you. We got our Pizza Hut demo disc for PlayStation 1 and Crash Bandicoot 2. Of course, I played the hell out of that. But uh, this was this was ex an exciting demo for me. So there we go. Looking forward to that. Thank you, I Capcom. And uh, out of nowhere today, Nintendo said uh, Yoshi's Crafted World is coming March 29th. They just they just announced it. They said, you know what? Here you go. Here's a release date. Uh, I don't know why. I mean, obviously, we're going to have a direct coming up sometime in the future. Uh, a lot of people are speculating this month is the beginning of the, the year. We've had Nintendo Directs in January for the past couple of years. Come on, it's a great time for a direct. They don't, Nintendo never confirms or denies this type of shit. So we'll just have to wait and see when we get the direct. But uh, I feel like this could have been just, you know, one little bit of ass hair more content for a direct. Cause it's coming March 29th. I mean, that's over two months away. We had, we, no one really, we know it's coming this year. We don't really give that shit, that much of a shit about a specific release date. So you give us this one little announcement. Everybody's just like, huh. Oh. That's kind of cool, whatever. But when you put it in a direct, it's something more about the direct. It's like a little more content for the direct, a little juicier direct to get people to say a little more about it. They go, oh, and we got this. But now we just got this random announcement, but uh, I know Cameron's really excited for the game. So maybe it, maybe it made him smile. Did it make you smile, Cameron? Well, we're probably gonna be in Japan well, at the time, so I'm like, oh, I gotta download it digitally. Well, it's, kind of, it's kind of a mess. Well, a mess, he's right? upset, actually, of what you did, Nintendo. You, you gave him March 29th and he said, you know what? Why couldn't it have been me? 29th. Well, why couldn't it have been why February 30th? Why don't they? That, oh, so you got it to play while you're in Japan. That's a good point. Cameron needed a game to play while he was uh, abroad, Nintendo. Why don't they February watch this? February 30th, that's a date. Do they not watch this channel? Oh, February 30th. Oh, I didn't even pay attention. February February only has 28 days, everybody. Just uh, Unless it's leap year. And we got it's not. We got a 29th. It's not. So, uh, But Nintendo, why don't you watch this channel and make sure Cameron's gaming needs are appeased? Uh, yeah. at the appropriate time. I feel like that's, isn't that wrong of them? They should be doing that. Come on, we're obviously the biggest gaming channel, gaming news network, gaming, anything gaming, we're the biggest, top dogs. I mean, come on, Nintendo. Get it together for Cameron and me. We'd appreciate it. And then another bit of just some awesome fun news, nothing really important, but uh, something interesting at least. Uh, Raf Grassetti, I guess that's how you say his name. I don't know, he's an Italian mobster. Uh, yeah, 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 I don't fucking know. Uh, but he's the art director for God of War, and he has been posting uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate uh, drawings that he did in like a super realistic, very artistic style. He's done, uh, he did Mewtwo actually today, I think it was. He did Mewtwo, Sonic, Bowser, Link, Foss, if I said Foss, Fox, Samus, and uh, he's got Mega Man coming. There was like a little teaser for Mega Man, just a black and just a blacked out image of Mega Man, and they look really fucking sick. Especially Bowser. Bowser looks amazing. They are just. Uh, I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna have the Bowser up on the screen now, so you can go see it. But you should go check out the rest of his stuff. He posts them on Twitter and Instagram, like I said. Uh, it's been daily. It's been a daily thing actually lately. Uh, every day he's been posting a new one, so he's fucking working at this. I don't know why. I guess he's not. What's his Instagram? Uh, I know his name's Raf Grassetti. I don't know what his. I think that's his Instagram. It's just Raf Grassetti. R A F G R A S S E T T I. Uh, and uh, I, I don't. I don't. I guess he's not working on the new God of War. I don't know. I, I'm, I know they're making one, uh, but I guess he's got free time to draw Nintendo characters for free. Uh, it's just free publicity for Nintendo. Uh, but one note, Samus's helmet is too small, Mr. Wrath. Can we please address, I, when I'm looking at the picture, I'm like, amazing, 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 amazing. Really good, but that helmet's too small, mister. 
Just looks weird on Samus. I, you know, we Samus has like a, a, a notoriously large helmet. I mean, look at her in the fucking NES. Her Maybe body's it like be large. Ra what? Maybe it shouldn't be large. Is the thing. Uh, but uh, it's come on. Our classic Samus has a large helmet, Cameron. The, that's, none of these look classic. That's part of a yeah, but I like the Sonic one a lot. There was a lot of uh, divide about the Sonic one on Twitter. I was looking at What's half the, the people hated the, it. From what? From the movie. Yeah, we don't. We haven't seen the one's face from the movie, so. I we did. I liked, I liked his Sonic. Uh, half the people loved it, half the people hated it in the comments. They're like, ooh, why'd you do this? Ew. Uh, I thought it was neat. But the Bowser is by far... Look, you see the Bowser, Cameron? No, it's great. Pretty fucking awesome, right? Uh, Bowser. He's, well, yeah. <laughs> if I did a Bowser, it definitely wouldn't be near that, that good, but I haven't done one. So we can't know for sure. Uh, but yeah, go check that out. The very cool, very fun stuff. Just something nice to look at. Maybe you'll want it as your wallpaper on your cell phone or your personal computer. I don't know. But great job, Raph. Get to work on God of War. We're waiting on you. Come on, man. Just quit giving Nintendo free promotion. Just kidding. Nintendo is everybody's... It's the Disney of video games, right? They're just magical and wonderful. You can't help but love them. So it's heartwarming. Thanks, Raph. If you want to be like this badass displayed right here... Uh, you can hit us up on fugamecrew.bigcartel.com. That's our merch store. We sell shirts, mugs, just like this, whatever you want. Uh, just check it out. It's cheap, great shipping, good quality. Cheap in my opinion. I think it's a good price. And uh, you send us a picture. If you buy some merch, send us a picture. We'll throw you up and make you a famous FU Game Crew official member. And uh, we, we greatly appreciate all the people who have bought stuff. And if you haven't sent us a picture and you still want to send us a picture, hit us up on Instagram or Twitter or wherever the fuck. Maybe my dad's cell phone. I don't know. But if you don't want to buy merch but you still want to support the channel, hit up FU Game Crew on Patreon. Patreon.com slash FU Game Crew. And for as low as a dollar a month, you can help support the channel. Uh, that's $12 a year. That's pretty much nothing. And our current patrons, you're amazing. We love you all so much. You know the deal. If you want content me on this, check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. I hope we all make it to Mars. Soon? I don't know. So I want to say thank you to your loyalty. Thank you for your support. Samus' helmet is too big! Small.